Tinsang in terms, about tr in terms of treating this disease, there are um, different approaches. Um, psychologists um, may have um, different ways of um, attempting to uh, treat the, the, the condition in terms of achieving states of mind. Um, doctors, at the same time, um, through their interventions, can attempt to control the symptoms of depression. <laughs> Tenim so while taking medicine may, may be one means of going about addressing depression, it's certainly um, not the best one. Um, clearly, uh, when one stops taking meditation, the symptoms are still there. On the other hand, there are also all kinds of negative side effects associated with depression medication. So it's not the best uh, means of treating depression that we have available to us. <laughs> Uh um, myself, as a Buddhist teacher, I have had um, experience in uh, witnessing the great success of Buddhist methods in addressing depression. Um, these including um, uh, meditation, um, emptiness meditation, um, mindfulness meditation, the recitation of mantra, um, practice helping altruistic engagement. I have had experience of all of these methods being extremely effective in treating depression. Tabar so in recent times, there is a lot of discussion and a lot of enthusiasm for the um, meditation practice of mindfulness. This is something that has, though, always existed in the Buddhist tradition. Um, in the great 8th century text, The Way of a Bodhisattva, there's a verse that says, but if the elephant is firmly bound by the rope of mindfulness on every side, all fears will vanish and everything constructive will come into my hands. And so this verse is really um, likening the various um, afflictive thoughts of the mind uh, to an elephant and the mindfulness meditation method as the reins that, uh, that bring this elephant under control. And when this is done, then positive, um, positive 
um, positive um, mental experiences such as happiness, pleasure, etc., they are able to arise more readily. Uh, Rangi, Rangla, Yin Rang, the Tareda. That day, Chi Yar Sat Tombun Zina, Tarun Tela, Tam Tondana, Tejan Dana Chi, Jictin, and Debi Yamja, Jerney Moyoreta, Tesa Machina, Pena Turtavi Nunga, Tansan Lopra Mombozina, Tene Santum Gumju and Du, Pay Mandra Carchimbozre. So uh, this uh, kind of meditation where we uh, focus uh, single um, pointedly and are able to um, abide in this state and in general with um, uh, the various things that arise in our life to be able to um, deal with them in this way is in fact a very important kind of meditation. Uh, Shapa gave it another to Santum Gumser Chigori. Teach here is in a tambani or jabba jew, uh, Lee tambani or jabba, Sura tambani or jabba, uh, Sim tambani or jabba, Chu tambani or jabazi, that tambani or jabba jew go gumbe. So mindfulness meditation is one very useful practice. Another meditation practice that has great relevance to depression is um, contemplative meditation, so where we can talk about the four um, applications of mindfulness, um, contemplating the body, the emotions, the mind, and phenomena. <laughs> Riba, <laughs> So by uh, contemplating the contemplation on the body, our clinging and our grasping to our physical forms can be lessened as we um, step by step, piece by piece, analyze um, each part of our body from our skin to our bones, our blood, our organs, etc. And we come to a realization of its, um, its impure nature. This actually helps us in lessening our grasping to it. Tanet <laughs> And in terms of uh, meditating on our emotions, um, this enables us to realize their impermanent nature, that there is uh, happiness and that there is sadness, that they are essentially always changing. Anything that is changing is suffering. And so this um, uh, kind of uh, contemplation enable, enables us to lessen our grasping to, um, towards emotions. <laughs> Uh, and by uh, contemplating um, uh, or practicing the application of 
um, mindfulness in respect of our minds. In general, our minds are full of uh, discursive thoughts, thoughts of um, all kinds of nature, but by focusing on the um, current moment and nothing else, not the past and the future, then we can um, come to an understanding um, about the nature of our mind and uh, not cling to ideas of its essential permanence or inherent existence. And the contemplation regarding phenomena um, encourages to us to develop a realization of the empty and selfless nature of phenomena. Jamba nyor jabando soje kuchur kamna ya yore ne tari jamba nyor jose kido koronto dan jagan doe the girgan solo chodo. Um, of course, these four applications of mindfulness are in the in the southern tradition as well. Um, I'm sure you know about them, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Round the way. Have you um, learned about the four applications of mindfulness? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Kotoshi. Round the way. Nando, chikbare ndo ndo. Is the content the same as what Kempo yeah. has just explained? It's a Chitta Anupasana mm-hmm. and about mind. Mm-hmm. And Dhamma Anupasana mm-hmm. is the worldly phenomena. Mm-hmm. And Dhamma is the Thaya Anupasana about body. Mm-hmm. And the other one is the Vedana Anupasana about feeling. Yeah, chikbare. Yeah. Yeah. Chhe namba tani thare thare gum gurwa. By engaging in this kind of meditation practice, it really does have the capacity to um, heal mental afflictions, heal mental illness, and for people who may not, in fact, have or feel themselves to be um, to be mentally afflicted or to suffer from a mental illness by engaging in um, meditation is actually a very good preventative measure for future uh, mental illness.